Hey guys, welcome to week four of online learning. This week we're going to continue to work on something that we started last week. Uh, we're going to have a little fun illustrating the story about our odd animal that we created last week. So I am logged in as a fake student and what you're about to see uh, should look exactly the same on, on your device. So once you go into digital literacy, you're going to go to your classwork tab and you're looking for last week's assignment. Um, all right, so you're going to open up your odd animal story, view assignment, and you'll see over here on the right hand side that you turned in your work and I don't know if you can see this underneath this little message right here but you should see that I left you a comment and I returned it to you. So when your teachers return your work, don't resubmit it unless they asked you to. It's no different from you handing in a paper assignment and your teacher grading it and handing it back to you. Once they hand it back to you, it's yours. So same thing online. Once they turn it back to you, it's yours. All right, so for this assignment, we are going to open up our odd animal story and we are now going to use uh, a new Google app uh, called Google Drawings to illustrate our story. So if you read through your story, there are um, there's more than one point that you could illustrate. So you could pick what you find the most interesting. So let me tell you what I mean by that. With I'll use mine as an example. So my odd animal is called a cha-cha. And it's an animal that has pink fuchsia fur with green spots on its tail and eyes. So I can find something that I think is a cha-cha and make it pink with green spots. It has a tail shaped like a baseball bat, and it also, which it uses to jump hats. So I could also choose to illustrate that. Um, an adult cha-cha may weigh more than 9,435 pounds and stand over 10,000 feet high. That's a little bit trickier to illustrate um, it's hard to illustrate weight and height. Uh, so, I mean, you can make it next to something and make it look really big. But like I said, I think that's probably the most difficult part to try to illustrate. The next paragraph, the cha-cha can be found only in the USA and China. Although its favorite food is chicken nuggets, it also likes to, likes to eat toes. So both of those sentences would be easily illustrated. If you ever see a cha-cha, be sure not to ever sing Applause by Lady Gaga. That song makes it hairy. Instead, give it a few chicken nuggets and be on your way. All right, so we are ready to illustrate. Google Drawings is an app that's built inside of Google Docs, but you can also get to it from your Google Drive. So I'm going to show you both ways. Uh, if you're working inside of a Google Doc and you want to change an image, um, you would go to insert and choose drawing and then choose new. Okay, which is what we're about to do. Um, if you were not in a Google Doc and you just wanted to open up Google Drawings, you could open it from your drive. Uh, when you go to your Google Drive, remember that's your filing cabinet. You can click on new and here you see docs, sheets, slides, more. Google Drawings is over here. All right. After you've used it for a few times, it will show up in your Google Apps waffle. It just doesn't come up there until you've used it a few times. All right. So we are using it inside of Google Docs, like I said. OK, so the first thing you have to do is uh, come up with a base animal to start with. So whatever your odd animal might resemble from your own imagination, you decide. OK, so I'm going to start with something that resembles a llama. So what I did, um, whoops, let me backtrack. I clicked on this last button, which is image, because I'm going to go search the Internet to try to start with an image of a llama. So I'm going to search for a llama and I don't want a photograph of a llama. So I'm adding the word clip art. It just makes it a little bit easier to work with if it's not an actual photograph of a real llama. Um, OK, he's cute. I'm going to go with this guy and select. 
Okay, so now I have a llama. I can very easily drag him over here just because I'd rather have him in the center. And if you remember, my llama has a tail that looks like a baseball bat. So I could try to draw a baseball bat myself by using the tools that are up here. We have some shapes. We have basic shapes. We have lines. And the scribble tool allows you to draw like you have a pencil. Okay, but that's uh, not really my thing. But if you want to do that, sure, go ahead and do that. But I'm going to go get a picture of a baseball bat from the internet. So I am going to search for a baseball bat clip art. Baseball bat clip art. And I'm going to try to insert this one. Okay, let's see what happens. And whoopsies, I did not mean to do that. Undo. All right, I meant to move this. What's happening? Okay, I need to go back to this arrow. Here we go. Oh, it worked perfectly. All right, I th uh, okay. So now I have a baseball bat for a tail. Um, and I want to send the tail behind the llama. Uh, so as you can see, it's actually in front of the llama right now. So I want to look like that's behind him. And you can do that by changing layers. So if you right click on an image and go to order, it allows you to send it uh, backward or bring it forward depending on what layer it's on. So think of it like this, whatever, go, whatever image you put on your paper first is on the bottom layer. And then whatever you put on next goes on top of that. And then when you put on next goes on top of that and so on and so forth. So I want to send the baseball bat backward. And now it looks like it is actually behind the llama. All right. So my llama also, what else did it say? He likes to eat chicken nuggets and toes. So I'm going to go out and I am not trying to draw anything, but if you feel so inclined, please feel free to use the tools to freehand draw something. All right. So chicken nuggets, clip art, and oh, how cute are they? Chicken nuggets. My llama likes to eat chicken nuggets. All right, I want to show you how to get rid of the background. So, oh, they're, they've all become coming up transparent. All right, so if I get one that's not transparent, so see how it doesn't have a, that ugly white box around it? It's They're all transparent. So I do want to show you how to get rid of the box if it does show up. Um, okay, so he likes to eat chicken nuggets. He also likes to eat toes. <laughs> Uh, he also is from the USA, so I think I'll put a nice USA flag behind him. Oop. USA flag clip art. And I'll make this really big. Okay, so let's, that's, that's kind of cool. I'm going to go with that. Awesome. And now I'm going to send that behind everything. So I'm going to right click and go to order. And instead of saying send backward, because then it will only go behind one level. So if I say send backward, it will go behind the chicken nuggets, but still in front of the llama. Oh, actually, let me show you, right? Um, but I want to send it to the back. So it goes back behind everything. All right. Let me try one more thing because I want to show you how to get rid of the white background if you get it. So what else can I do? Toes. He likes to eat toes. <laughs> so, so far I've been pretty lucky finding images that are transparent. That means that they don't have a white background behind them, but I want to show you what you can do if you're not so lucky with the images that you're trying to put together. So these feet right here, remember my cha-cha uh, likes to eat toes. These um, feet or this piece of clip art is not transparent. See how it has a white background? So it doesn't look very nice when you're trying to incorporate it into your picture. So you can actually put it, um, upload it onto a website to remove that background. Uh, and so I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, I'm going to delete it off my picture. I'm going to go back to the search and I need to right click on it and save it, save it, not copy, but save image as. And what you're doing is you're saving it onto your Chromebook so that you can upload it to a website. 
So it's called images.png. I'm going to call it feet so I know how to find it. And notice where I'm saving it in a place called images because you, because you need to know where to find it. All right, so I have a file called feet. It's in images. And what I'm going to do, I'm just closing this to get it out of my way. I'm going to go to a website that is called remove.bng, whoops, remove.bg, which stands for background, remove background. I'm going to upload that image from my computer. So remember it's called feet and it's not in my download folder. It was in my image folder. So it might come up under recent if we're lucky. There it is. Okay. Feet PNG. I'm going to upload it to remove.bg. And this is the original, and this is the removed background. Now what I'm going to do is right-click, copy image, go back to my drawing, and close this because I don't need it. And I'm going to paste it, right-click, paste. And now it's transparent. You see the difference? It doesn't have that background behind it. So now I can have my llama chewing on <laughs> that doesn't look good <laughs> I wonder if I could do this uh, make it trying to make it look like they're actually his feet there we go and he can chew on his own toes all right so that is that and now this says save and close up here it's hard to see because it's cut off a little bit we're going to save and close and now as you can see my illustration of my odd animal that has a tail who looks like that's shaped like a baseball bat and he likes to eat chicken nuggets and he's from the good old us of a and he likes to chew on toes is now a part of my story and it's ready to be turned in again don't forget to turn it in again this time you do need to turn it in because now you have a new assignment that i'm looking at again so when you're finished you can click this turn in button right here or you can go back to Google Classroom and click resubmit. Either way, it's going to be the same thing. So I uh, hope you have fun and please let me know if you have any questions. You can leave me a private comment. I've been replying to them there or you can schedule a Google Hangout with me if you want to. Just shoot me an email and I would love to chit chat. All right, talk to you later.